Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, I wanted to explore something I have not seen a lot of people talk about it uh, widely. So uh, this feature called uh, lifecycle management uh, in Azure storage accounts. And what it does, if you really want to optimize your cost for your storage, this is a very good idea, <clears throat> especially for if you have log files that you know that you're not going to use and uh, check for a long time, maybe you're keeping it for audit purposes uh, and you don't, have, you don't want to pay the high storage cost for, say, for the hot access tier, you can create some policies and that would help you to automatically move your data from the hot tier to the archive tier or cool tier, whichever you prefer. And you can create all the rules and there's advanced features available. Like if you want to move some particular file that matches a kind of like a regex pattern, you can do things like that. So this article over here, it has got a lot of information in here, uh, how you want to do that. Uh, <coughs> so if you read over here a little bit, um, so data sets, they are saying they have a unique life cycle early in the life cycle, people access some data often, but need for the access drops drastically as the data gets old. <coughs> so it, it happens and it's, it's common in most environment. So. Uh, look at your environment, figure out uh, what data you will be using and what data you could move to the archive uh, uh, archive tier so just to save money. So what do you need to do? Okay, um, so really this is the word uh, that, that, that you need to come up with. You need to define a policy and Again, your policy for how you want to move your data from one access tier to another automatically without any manual intervention. Again, you can do it using the portal, it's in the partial CLI or even REST API. In this one, uh, let's just look at what to do uh, using the portal first. So what, uh, if, you, if you don't have any Azure uh, account, please go and sign up for one as least a free account and you'll be able to do this hands-on by yourself. So what we'll do, we'll go to the Azure portal and they're asking us to uh, select a storage account. So let's just go there. So if I come to my Azure portal and click on the storage account, it should tell me uh, and list all the storage accounts that I have and they're all listed in here, okay? So I'm not gonna just create a storage account for for the for this for this particular particular lab. I'm just gonna use one of them. But creating a storage account is very easy. Just hit on uh, add, and just go through the basic options, and you have a storage account. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's just pick up one of these, <coughs> and the feature that I am really I. I want to discuss in this one is under the blob service and it's called the life cycle management okay this is where you want to go so over here what do you have under this storage uh, account you can have containers and you you can start loading data and this life cycle management uh, you, you if you see over here there are no rules currently set and if you read the rule Lifecycle management offers rich rule-based policy for general V2 and blob, blob storage accounts. Use the policy uh, to transition your data to the appropriate access tier or expire at the end of data lifecycle. So you can even delete the data, okay? If you know that this data will not be needed for say after 90 days or 180 days, whatever, you can create a rule and set, okay, this uh, in this storage account, if the data is older than 180 days, just go ahead and delete it. So that's just, uh, you know, saving costs for all the storage, for the data that you don't need. Um, so this service is available for general purpose V2 and blob storage account, so that's important, so keep that in mind. So let's just go back over here, <coughs> excuse me. So we are already in the blob cycle and the life cycle management that I kind of explained already. So here, as I said, I didn't have any rule so we're gonna add a, a rule over here. 
and from the details uh, we're gonna see what we can do so just let's click on this one so if you click on uh, add a rule you see that uh, a rule is made up of one or more conditions and actions that apply to the entire storage account optionally specify that rules will apply to particular blobs by limiting with filters so if you need advanced options you go with the filters so let's just start with the first rule so first before we just look at a root scope apply rule to all blobs so that's the most basic one if you want filtering you just go with the limit blobs with filter now blob type uh, it so this feature is available to both block blobs and append blocks a uh, note that page blobs is not even listed here and blob subtype you can use this feature for sub blobs snapshot even versions so based on your requirement you can choose whatever you like so let's see what they are creating over here so here they're creating a rule move to cool okay so here they're restricting uh, limit blobs with filter and they are choosing block blobs and base blobs so let's try that one move to cool so that's the name I'm gonna use move to cool and uh, I'm gonna limit the blob with filters okay uh, block blobs and the base blob is what we need hit and hit the next button so over here uh, select the base blob uh, to to set the conditions for your rule in the following example blobs are are moved to the cool storage if they haven't been modified for 30 days so that's uh, pretty pretty uh, reasonable so if if i know that files not been modified not been accessed nothing like that for 30 days let's move it to move it to cool storage okay so here the next page we're gonna configure base blobs if they were they were last modified more than 30 days ago then so if then block is already here then move to cool storage okay so that's as easy as that okay so last modifier so uh, so that's the 30 okay 30 days and uh, you just so your default looks like is the delete the blob but you don't want to delete the blob you want to move to the cool storage so select that one so that's all we need to do if you need to put an additional if block you can also do that here but we don't need at the moment so here next so next is the filtering okay so here's the prefix match and blob index match let's see if they have done anything in particular so over here the last access option we have already done that um, uh, so last two options I've run the prefix in the following regions France Central Canada Central uh, Canada Central so these are the three different regions where this uh, last access option is available <coughs> excuse me so the finally the to the adder rule what do you need to do adder rule they have talked about anything let's see the filter set to add an optional filter the following example filters the blobs for the my life cycle container container that begins with uh, with log okay so prefix match what they are saying so if you look at it my life cycle container is the uh, container and then uh, anything container that begins with log uh, it will this rule will be applicable will apply to that one okay so come back over here so for this one you already have uh, my container prefix so say whatever com container so say test container and say log okay so that's um, what we want to use uh, uh, to restrict the rule to be applicable okay and then uh, blob index match let's see if they have anything over here they haven't done anything so you can just add hit add and it should add uh, this rule over here if you want to add more rule so maybe you want to add a delete rule so delete blob okay and this time maybe apply to all blobs in a storage account okay so let's hit next say for 180 days if it's uh, if if not been modified for the last one or two days then we want to just delete the blob okay so that's as simple as that so for archive we can also do archive or just to uh, move to 
archive so in that case uh, limit blobs uh, just go with everything and uh, hit next and maybe say we did 30 180 is completely deleted so maybe do 90 after 90 days uh, we can move to archive okay so you can add all of that so there we go so now you have a nice little workflow in there uh, if you have file and after 30 days it will be moved to cool when those files reached <coughs> well 90 days still no modification they will uh, move to the archive and if it's not been touched for 180 days they will be deleted okay the first rule it's only applicable to uh, the, the my storage container or test container the others will apply to any other files in inside our storage account so that's a very uh, cool feature where you can use it effectively and that's going to save you a, a lot of money and, and help you optimize the storage cost uh, if you're using uh, our cloud storage in Azure. All right, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Uh, if you really want to try out how to do it with the PowerShell, uh, they have a detailed uh, uh, code over here and it should be pretty simple to run as well and uh, they have a template as well over here uh, that you can use and play with i'm going to give this link to this particular uh, uh, microsoft official documentation page so you can look at it and try it out and have fun and save some money for all the storage needs that you have thank you for watching please subscribe and share with with friends have a good day